Talk, 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 man, man, man. Hey, YouTube crew, this is Vinicius Matias speaking, and today I'm bringing you another video here on the VM G A M E D R O I D channel, guys. And today I'm bringing you guys the new version of RPCS3. All right, our PlayStation 3 emulator is finally running some games now on both Mali and Adreno, and in this update, it brought analog support. All right. In the previous version, I had already shown you that it was running on Mali phones, right? On the same day I released the video, an update came out with on-screen controls, but the released version didn't have analog support. Guys, now we have both analog sticks, both the L3 and the R3, and now we can play on both Mali and Adreno, like I told you guys, all right? So, go ahead and hit the like button, it's really important. If this is your first time here on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Enable the notification bell so you won't miss future videos. Stay until the end of the video too because I'm going to show you some settings and some games running, all right? So let's get started. I'm with my A35 starting to install Resident Evil 5. Guys, I felt the previous version ran better here on the A35 with the Mali GPU. I don't know if it's because I installed an update over it, you know what I mean? So, basically, the performance is still the same here on the A35. Some games opened, others didn't. Raging Blast and Burst Limit already opened, Raging Blast 2 already opened, Storm 2 still performs the same. But I believe this update was more for Adreno, okay guys, for Snapdragon processors. So I'm already here with the Red Magic. Let's test with the Red Magic. I haven't played the God of War 3 demo yet since I don't have the emulator or a version. Today we're going to test Raging Blast 1 and 2 and also Castlevania 2, the demo version. I think that's how you pronounce it, right? It worked, okay, but the analog stick didn't work. Man, I don't get it. The analog stick works in other games, but not in this one. Pro Evolution Soccer 2013 demo worked here, unlike previous versions and the PlayStation 3 where it didn't. However, you need to do a specific configuration because the players are invisible, all right? Stay until the end because I'll show you the Pro Evolution Soccer 2013 configuration I used to keep players visible. Alright, so let's go. I'll start here with Raging Blast 1. It worked well and we already have both analog sticks. Alright guys, look, uh, they disappear and as soon as you tap the screen, they show up, okay? So basically, I'm not sure if I like that or not. If the joystick disappears and you can activate it anywhere on the screen, I'm still not sure if I think that's a good thing or not. Alright guys, let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts in the comments, okay? So let's test out Dragon Ball Raging Blast, the demo version. Just a reminder guys, the games are only working in package format, okay? In package format. They're not working in ISO format. If you want to install the game demos, they're in package format. There are some games that were released digitally and you can install them in package format. And you can install the license directly through the app when you're installing the game. I'll show you this too. It's simple and easy. Uh, I installed Grand Theft Auto 4 here on mine. Of course, it didn't run, unfortunately, but it did get to the menu. Uh, I'll show you this installation process as well, okay? We're here in Raging Blast, guys. I'll select Goku here so we can do some gameplay. Watch this. I'm putting Goku vs. Raditz in Raging Blast 1. It's running well with good quality. These are basic settings I set up. I'm using the Pro Evolution Soccer Configuration, alright, guys? But remember, the Pro Evolution Soccer Configuration won't always run every game. For example, Castlevania didn't open when I tried running it again with the Pro Evolution Soccer configuration. Damn, Raditz already went for it. Damn, hold on, it's going to be tough to play here, huh guys? It's compiling the shaders over there. Look, I've, I've already entered the game once. Let's go after Raditz. The guy just went up to the sky out of nowhere, man. What the heck? See, the analog stick works here. I tried to use teleport there, it didn't work out very well. This analog stick, man, I'm not sure if I like it. It disappears from the screen out of nowhere. I don't know if I like it, but let's go. The analog stick is working, check it out. Raging Blast 1. I'm not very good at playing these Raging Blast games, but let's try to see what we can do. Charge key, look, I don't know how to use powers yet. It's running well, right guys? It's running well here. The demo version is lighter. The Raging Blast 1 demo is just 1 gigabyte. The full game will probably be around 5 to 6 gigabytes, but it only exists in ISO format, okay? And check this out, compiling shaders like this, see? Once you enter the first time, shaders will already be compiled on your second visit. So your game runs a little better, okay? And this update for Snapdragon was really good, guys. Snapdragon was performing very poorly in PlayStation 3 emulation, 
the top performing Snapdragon was the Snapdragon 8 Elite, right? And then the others were unfortunately struggling to run PlayStation 3, okay? The Mali was already running well, right? As I showed in the last video, the A35 was too. And now there's been an improvement for Snapdragon processors and also the addition of analog sticks for you to play the games, okay? Regarding the gamepad, only the gamepad via on the go is working, okay? I tried a Bluetooth gamepad here, but it didn't work. And I don't know how to do the special moves here. I'm sad because I don't know how to do the special moves, man. Even though it's running well, I'm really bad at Raging Blast. You have to check it out, guys. Our Raging Blast one runs great here. We'll test the second one soon to see how it does. Because the second one is much better looking. So let's go, guys. Let's see how the second one will do here. All right, my friend, check this out. Go ahead and hit the like button. It's really important, okay, man? Your participation here and your subscription are very important. We're nearing a million subscribers. I'm giving away my PlayStation 4 on Instagram. Check out the giveaway. When we hit a million subscribers, there will be a giveaway on Instagram. So join in. It's free. It's worth it. When we reach a million subscribers, I'll do a giveaway for all my social media followers. Deal? So let's go, guys. Demo version of Raging Blast 2 here, running smoothly. We have four characters to use here. I'm biased. I'm going to pick Goku and fight against the Buddha, alright? Because Kid Buu is way too overpowered. Let's select this stage here. Really cool. Just a reminder, not all games are running, okay guys? There are a lot of games you won't be able to open. Unfortunately, in my case, I was never able to start the God of War 3 demo. I was able to start it on the A35 though. Man, it's super slow with bugs, like 2 FPS, but on the Red Magic, it won't even open. And look at Raging Blast 2. It's way better looking, right man? Personally, I'm terrible at the gameplay, but the second one is really beautiful, man. Look at the quality. The Dragon Ball games, like Burst Limit and Raging Blast, are really well optimized for PlayStation 3 emulation and run great. And like I told you guys, it's a demo version, right man? So the demo version is lighter, it comes a bit more optimized. I was able to run it on the A35 as well, with slightly lower frames per second, but I managed to run Raging Blast on the A35, both 1 and 2, okay? Of course, it doesn't perform like the Red Magic, right? Look, you block with R1, man, I'm used to Tenkaichi 3. Look, I'm getting totally beaten by my opponents here, my friend. Look at Deborah. Deborah isn't messing around, huh man? And that's it, man. Just look at this awesome stage, okay? It's a shame I don't know how to do the special moves here, man. Give me some tips, guys, from Raging Blast. I don't know how to play, man. I just play the basics here. Oh, I froze for a second. Uh, let's go. Take that. We pulled off a combo here. I don't even know how. And I don't know how, but we did it. Look at that. Raging Blast 2 is awesome and beautiful, right, man? The guys use their powers and I have no clue what happens next. I don't know where the big powers go. Leave my name. Leave my name. Pressing square then triangle triggers a slick combo. Look, you charge key here, see? I tried using it while charging, but it doesn't work. I've already taken a couple of hits from the Buddha here and nothing, my friend. Look at that. A whole sequence of take that, my friend. Fortunately... All our drama in Raging Blast 2. But we could see that it's running well. It's running great. The quality here is amazing, man. The Snapdragon is just as it should be, right? Finally running really well here on our Snapdragon processors, guys. Let's open Pro Evolution Soccer 2013. So cool. And look, before in previous versions, it wouldn't even open, man. It wouldn't even show this loading screen, all these credits here. And now the game already opens and Pro Evolution Soccer 2013 is already playable. And for those who have a Mali GPU, a lot of people can run it through WinLator, through GameHub. Oh, I sound you. It was a man down middle of the Now, a lot of people will be able to run it through the PlayStation 3 emulator as well, right, man? Check out this cool menu. Pro Evolution Soccer 2013 also opened really well here. Just a reminder, this is the demo version, okay, guys? It's not the full version. The demo version also runs smoother since it's lighter, right? So let's skip the little trailer here and I'm going to press start. Where's start? I can never find start here, man. There you go. Here's my start. There's Portuguese language for us to play in the demo. Check this out. Let's select Portuguese pen and look at that. We have the game mode where you can play with some teams. And we have the Libertadores mode. 
Let me see. Uh, you, you can play with some Brazilian teams. Santos, Fluminense, Internacional and Flamengo. Bro, let's pick Santos, Neymar's team and Flamengo. Ronaldinho Gaucho's team. Check this out. Let's go for it, guys. Let's do this. Now let's try out Pro Evolution Soccer 2013 on our phone screen using the PlayStation 3 emulator, guys. This is really awesome. Hit that like button. It's really important, guys. The PlayStation 3 era has arrived on Android and it's getting better and better. Bro, there are a lot of weekly updates coming out. Updates for the PlayStation 3 and updates for RPCS 3. So we're basically living the best year ever for emulation on Android. Alright guys, so man, this really deserves your like. If you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Let's reach 1 million subscribers, God willing. Let's keep going guys, check this out. Here's the full Santos squad. Looks like the complete Pro Evolution Soccer 2013 lineup. There's no package format, just the demo. Many games aren't in package since they weren't released digitally. If I'm not mistaken, someone made a package version of God of War 3, but officially there's no package format, right? Most games are in ISO format and it still doesn't support ISO format. RPCS 3 doesn't support this format. Only the PlayStation 3 is installing ISOs, all right? So, it started here, guys. Look, if I hadn't done the configuration, the players wouldn't show up. Everything would be invisible. But since I did a little configuration here, look, the players show up. So let's go. I think that if Pro Evolution Soccer is working, FIFA should be working too. For those who like FIFA as well, right guys? FIFA and the demos should work. I'll see if I can download other versions later. Man, it's tough playing on this screen, huh? I might let Borges or maybe David score on me. I already let Flamengo score a goal. It's gonna be tough, man. Uh, it's gonna be hard to play here on this screen. As you can see, Pro Evolution Soccer 2013 runs very well here. The phone is powerful, right? The phone is really good too, but I believe you guys will be able to play on other phones as well. It was also highly optimized for Mali versions, right? It came really optimized for Mali GPUs. I already took a goal from Flamengo just like that, right? Bro, let's go Neymar. It'll be tough here. I'll just try to show you. I think it's fast. Go R2. Bro, no. It's R1 actually. Let's go Neymar. It's over Neymar. Yeah, I'm going to be terrible in this gameplay, guys. It's going to be a little complicated, but you can see that the game is running well. It's running well. I think I do better with a gamepad. Look, it's hard to defend, right, man? Look at that. And here they come again. Do you want to press R1 here? Sometimes pressing slightly off triggers the analog stick, which makes it harder. And there's still no option to edit the controls, the size, right? Of course, these things will come with future updates. Just a reminder, it's only on version 4. Okay, guys, it's only on Alpha 4. It hasn't even had its first official version yet. It's not working on phones with Android 11, okay? I think it only works on phones with newer Android versions. So, guys, that's another detail to keep in mind. Let's go for the goal. Come on, Neymar, just kick it. We took our shot, guys. So, at least the video makes sense, right? Let's go. Neymar with another move. Whoa, Neymar tried to press play. They knocked Neymar down, huh? Look at that. What's that, man? They took out Neymar. Damn. I never learned free kicks here. Actually, I don't know how to do anything in Pro Evolution Soccer. He shot it straight, hit the wall. That's it, guys. Our Pro Evolution Soccer 2013 is running well here. PlayStation 3 games are running smoothly. And now I'm going to show you the settings I used in Pro Evolution Soccer 2013 and some important settings for you to enable on your phone. Alright, you're going to need this app called Kick Edit, okay man? This app will be used to edit the configuration file. I'll also leave it for you in the pinned comment, alright? Here's the 3 emulator. We're going to open Kick Edit. It has some ads. Alright guys, I just wanted to let you know, what are you going to do to add the configuration file? Mine is already saved here. Look, but here's what you're going to do, man. You're going to click on this folder. Go to Open SAF, okay? Let's go to Open SAF, and then you go here on the side. Look for the RPCS3 name, which is our emulator. All emulator folders will then open. You go here into config. Okay, now let's go to config.iml. Click here, and it will open our configuration file so we can modify everything properly. Guys, it comes with the low-level virtual machine recompiler. I've already switched it to interpreter, static.
it ends up rendering the games faster, it compiles the PPUs faster. However, when I return to the configuration file, it reverts to low level virtual machine recompiler. I didn't really get that part guys, but if you want to edit it, you can set it to interpreter static. Okay man, I made this configuration and I noticed that the games loaded faster man. Type interpreter static here, alright? Basically that's it, you write it like this here. The first setting fixes graphical bugs, mainly in God of War and Pro Evolution Soccer 2013. This option here, look, write color buffers, alright? It will be set to false and you change it to true, okay? Let's also enable stretch to display, which is to make the screen fill up completely, right? It will be set to false. You set it to true too, okay? And this option here, guys, multi-threaded RSX, yeah, will be set to false and you set it to true as well, which will help fix your Pro Evolution Soccer 2013. This option here too guys, look, asynchronous texture streaming, it will be set to false and you set it to true, alright? Performance overlay displays your FPS, it's likely already enabled, if not set it to true, if it's false, that's fine. I think it's enabled, but just make sure this option is set to true. Duh. Strict rendering mode helps with Pro Evolution Soccer 2013, if it doesn't work in other games keep it set to false. For me, Castlevania didn't start with these Pro Evolution Soccer 2013 settings. So you disable it and leave it as it was original. If your game doesn't launch, just keep testing, alright? But basically, Raging Blast ran here. Both Raging Blast games and Pro Evolution Soccer 2013 also ran with this same configuration. Alright guys, so basically that's it. And to save, just click here on the little folder, then on save, alright? Once it's saved, you click on done. And that's it, just exit and enter your RPCS3. Basically, this is the configuration file. When you first launch RPCS3, you can enable notifications and grant all requested permissions. This update added a system info option here, okay? You can view all your device info here, including your processor and phone details. And basically, you install the firmware, which is the update for the PlayStation 3. I'll also leave it for you in the pinned comment. It'll be right here. This is our firmware to run PlayStation 3 games. And to add the game, you need to have it in package format, okay? I have a folder here with PlayStation 3 games. Some games are in ISO format and others are in package format. Only games in package format will work package. Alright guys, I'm going to add, for example, Grand Theft Auto 4. Okay, I'm crazy. I'm going to add Grand Theft Auto 4. It has the license file, which is the RAP file. And it also has our 10 gigabyte game. Okay, I'm starting the Grand Theft Auto 4 installation now. The package file is installing and once the game has a license, a small lock icon will appear here on the site, okay? So you click on the little lock and choose your RAP file, which is the license file to install your game. So there's no mystery. Seriously, there's no secret. Unfortunately, I can't teach you how to download PlayStation 3 games properly because that's against YouTube's guidelines. Alright guys, but check the pinned comment, I always leave all the information there, everything you need will be in the pinned comment. Alright, if you want direct support, if you want games directly in our very important person group, just become a member man. Click the button below or use the link in the pinned comment to become a member. You can join our WhatsApp group in the community to get full support for all emulators and games. You get everything directly in our WhatsApp group. Just message me privately and that's it guys. And it's installing here. Look, it takes a while guys. Just a reminder. The first time you install the game, it takes a while, okay? And you don't need internet to play. It's totally offline depending on your processor. And basically that's it my friends. So basically that's it. I'll stay here until Grand Theft Auto crashes. Give it a big like. Comment what you think. Comment if it worked on yours. What's your phone? And that's it. Look, you can see Grand Theft Auto 4 crashed here and I'll stop here. I hope you all enjoyed it. God bless you all. See you next time and I'm out guys.